What's up guys, my name's Curtis and welcome to 5-Minute Finance, where I take personal finance topics and explain them to you in 5 minutes or less. If any of you guys are like me, then at some point you may have asked yourself this question. If I'm able to save and invest a bunch of money in my younger years, can I let off that hypothetical savings gas pedal in later years? This question has a lot of merit. Maybe you're able to save and invest a bunch of money in your 20s and then you decide to start a family and you simply can't save as much anymore. Maybe you just want to start spending more of your income on things that you enjoy like vacationing or certain items once you reach 30s and 40s. Either way, the idea of investing a bunch of money up front and lowering your savings rate as you get older might actually work in certain circumstances. To illustrate what I'm talking about, let's run the numbers on two hypothetical people. Both are able to save $500 per month, they both expect a 7% annual rate of return on their investments, and they're looking to retire at age 65. The first person starts investing that $500 per month at age 20 and they stop at age 30 and just let their investments ride until 65. The second person waits until they reach age 30 to invest that $500 per month, but they're able to invest that $500 every single month from age 30 all the way through age 65. Who do you think has more money when they reach retirement? It's actually quite surprising. The person who invested from age 20 to age 30 would have, by the time they reach 30, about $85,000 invested. Again, assuming 7% return for the next 35 years until they reach retirement, that would grow to a retirement nest egg of about $913,000. The second person, as we discussed, invested $500 per month from age 30 to age 65, again, assuming a 7% rate of return. Guys, this second person's investment would grow to a nest egg of $855,000, and this person was investing for 35 years, and the first person only 10. Now, whether eight to $900,000 is enough to retire in your certain situation is a topic for a different video, but this does show the importance of starting as early as possible. And obviously, the better scenario might just be to invest from age 20 to age 65 to have an even bigger net worth. But again, that depends on your certain circumstance and how much money you're gonna need in retirement. It's also important to point out that with higher expected rates of return, the importance of starting early is even bigger. Assuming a 10% rate of return in that same previous example, the early starter would end up with $2.8 million where the person who waited until 30 to start would end up with only 1.7 million. So the higher rate of return that you're gonna to expect to get with your investments, the bigger importance you'll see from starting early. I also wanna mention that if your expected rate of return is five to six percent or lower, the difference you're gonna see by you know, these two examples is pretty minimal. But as a 20 to 30 year old, index funds are your best friend and long term, those average between seven and 10% annually. To answer the question of this video, yes, you could pump the brakes on investing if you get ahead financially early in life. This is often referred to as coast fire. But there are a few problems with that that I thought about when I made this video. First off, over the course of your working life, you're more than likely gonna be increasing your investments as your income increases. And your highest earning years are often in your 40s, sometimes 50s, so you're gonna be able to invest a lot more during those years. So those two things would really throw off the calculations in this case. Also, based on my experience, as well as all of the books that I've read on personal finance, most people who do start investing at an early age get so hooked on the idea of saving and building their net worth that it's pretty much impossible for them to stop investing altogether. So even if you do take a lower paying job or your expenses increase or your portfolio gets to a point where you could stop investing, I'm willing to bet you're still gonna continue to contribute to those accounts and grow your financial security blanket even further. I hope this video helped explain to you guys my thoughts on whether or not you can lower your savings rate if you get ahead financially early in life. If you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help me out if you gave it a thumbs up. If you're new around here and wanna see more personal finance videos in the future, Click on this globe to subscribe and as always hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos.